beauties and welcome back to i am beautiful hustle tv today we'll be doing a top ponytail um style and today's wig is provided by julia's hair now they've just sent over this 24 inch 13 by 4 um straight uh, lace front wig and guys this wig was extremely extremely full you will see towards the end of this tutorial uh, when i show you the finishing look how full this wig is this wig actually looks like a frontal with three to four bundles so it's super super full so make sure you guys check out the description details down below so you could get the exact density and information on where to purchase this wig now today as i mentioned i will be doing a top ponytail style but uh, nevertheless you can see the unboxing um on the bottom left of this tutorial but today i jumped straight into doing the ball cap method now i got this method from one of my um youtubers that uh did a review on my lace glue and i actually like this technique um she actually purchased my glue and did this technique for her ball cap method and i actually wanted to try it out and i love it so um what i did was place the cap on um to her head and i used one layer of that beautiful hustle lace milk glue and just one like layer of spray of that uh bed head hard head spray and I just blow dried it till it was completely clear. And this actually made my ball cap method so much, much so much more better. Um, because one, um, you lose you using less product. So instead of spraying a person's head a few times or using, you know, different layers of different products to get the ball cap to stick the first time, just using one layer of that glue and one um one a round of that spray it got this cap molded where it was not lifting whatsoever so this is a easy quick uh new ball cap method that you guys can try out on your clients and just let me know, you know how it goes now for um this honey here um she does have like long sideburns most people don't like to really cut their sideburns off so i just match the um cap to go with the same exact shape of her hair on my all the way down to the sideburns um it's just, well it's up to them if they okay with cutting they can cut it but if they don't want to they shouldn't have to you just learn how to uh work you know around around it so as i mentioned i just went ahead and did her cap and now i'm just gonna go in with that ruby kisses foundation uh, level 13 using a darker shade and just begin to shade on top of that cap so it can blend nice and seamless and i really really like i mentioned like this method so much more better um than just doing it how i used to do it because it just speeds up the process as well as far as the installation process um, for this step so after i finish applying the foundation i will get into you know um applying the wig of course and um this wig um i did have to mix the knots and i did do some plucking um it was not hard to pluck whatsoever but you know depending on what type of tweezers you use do be careful to um you know be careful when plucking because um you can't whip the lace easily so just you know take your time and plug and do whatever you need to do now as far as her hairline and the wig itself this wig did not match her hairline so you can see me going on in this tutorial later on after gluing and cutting off a lot of the extra lace towards the center that way her wig will not be too far down as far as in the middle section um, because she do have that high low hairline so it's important that you do apply the glue to match the person's hairline that way you can cut the extra lace off in the same pattern of, um, as their natural hairline but now i'm just taking that foundation and applying the same foundation that i use on the cap on two the lace on top of the lace and underneath the lace as well and i started a while back doing the uh, foundation on top of the lace as well just to make sure it really blends into that person's skin as natural as possible and just taking some holding spray and spraying it on top of that um underneath that lace where that foundation is so it does not um transfer over into the client's hair which can prevent your lace from sticking or lasting as long as you would like it to and then i'm just gonna go in with my beautiful lace lace adhesive and just begin to apply my layers uh, wait for it to turn clear and then begin to pull my lace down and get it molded and all of the layers um into onto your client's head and it turns clear as you see here I, you can go ahead and uh, begin to pull the lace down um, into the glue and just have them assist you um, hold each side down as you glue but make sure also when you are placing the cap you do um, place I mean not the lace but when you place um, that lace um, onto the head make sure you do not stick it directly on top of the cap you do want to have that lace um, past the cap when you land it down that way you would not see the cap underneath there or the the print of where the cap shows that's a common mistake some new stylists make as well um you do not want to place it on top of the cap directly like where the hair where the cap starts you want to place that lace a little bit past that cap line that way everything blends in perfectly and you do not see that cap underneath but once you do that, just go ahead and begin to use your comb and your blow dryer on the heat setting and melt that lace. And today I'll be using a technique I learned from Slay by Jordan by putting my melt belt on top of the lace and, um, before I cut the extra lace off instead of um, doing it after the lace. But I still end up tying the lace down once again. But I just went ahead and put it on top, let that sit um for about five minutes and now i'm back to cut off the extra lace and i will be using an eyebrow razor and as i begin to um raise off this extra lace you will see how natural and how well blended and melted 
Um, this lace is into the skin before I even tack down those extra corners. Super melted, super natural looking, and blends so perfectly and really melted in. So um, once I get into, you know, finish laying this lace, cutting off the extra, and tacking everything down, we will get into the style. so natural and so melted absolutely love my product of course and i'm just going to go ahead and take down the other side as well and as i mentioned after we do all of this um we will get into the styling portion as far as baby hairs i didn't do too many i only did um just like at the park areas in the sideburn i didn't want to go baby cray uh baby cray <laughs> i didn't want to go baby hair crazy with this installation um but if you do want to add more baby hairs to this install when you're doing all your own client feel free to across the hairline before I tie it down um, that's just to make everything just super super like push back to um because I like I mentioned I didn't want to do too many baby hairs so I did want the hairline to be as like neat as possible so um, I did comb everything back and then tie it down it's gonna give like that natural pushback on the hairline as well from the elastic band and that spray laying everything down and off camera while I was waiting, I did go ahead and press all of this hair out. I just used my flat iron and some flat ironing spray and pressed out the whole hairline. So I'm just gonna comb that hairline now once again to make it nice and soft. And I'm just gonna take alcohol as well and just wipe off any residue that's on the skin that dripped down on the forehead so it does not have like that white residue outside of the hairline. So I did go ahead and clean that area off um, as well. And as I mentioned for today's style, we will do the top ponytail look. So I will begin to uh, part off my section for um, what the ponytail would be and the hair that would just fall down behind the ear. 
So I'm just going to start and part, you know, that little small section. Depending on how much hair you want up, it's up to you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to uh, put up the same amount I put up. You can put up all of the top or you can put up an even smaller section at the top. It's just all on you and your client's preference. But I did want to do like, like deep side parts on both sides and then have the hair pulled up at the top. And right now I'm just pulling down that little section right there and I will do this on both sides because this will be the only baby hair that I do for this install. Just a little swoop right here and then of course the sideburn and everything else will be either down behind the ear or pulled up in a ponytail. So um, just try to make the parts as symmetrical as possible so it does not look uneven. But once you get all of that out the way, make sure you part off a section in the back as well to cover up um, where the tracks start on this lace wig. And I'm just going to put everything that I'm holding right now into a quick messy ponytail. That way I can begin to um, use my glam wax stick and apply it on those areas that I will hot comb out before um, actually pulling the top up in a ponytail. So just a quick little heads up. Um, I did change the packaging for the Glam Wax. Um, my brand colors are actually black, uh, pink, and gold. So um, this was pretty much like my old labels and my old, um, you know, my old, I forgot what you call it, but just had a brain freeze. <laughs> my old logo there we go my old logo so um, it is the same product but this new shipment it will have a different labeling but it's just, i mean a different packaging but it is the same product i just updated my packaging so everything matches so it will be updated on my site as well so don't be confused it's the same product it's just going to have a new packaging look but yeah i'm just going to take that glam wax and a hot comb and just press everything out and guys, when I tell you this wig was so full, like I was just so amazed on how full this wig was. Like a lot of people, you know, thought it was like frontal and bundles and everything, but it's really just how full this wig is. Like they really did a great job making um, this lace wig here. Like I have no complaint. The hair was super soft, full hairline, easy to work with everything. So that was so dope. But now that I have all of that pressed out, um, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of wax and apply it all on my area for the ponytail part. Just do a little hot combing and then I'm going to secure everything with the um, big nude rubber band. Um, you can use the small black rubber bands. You can use whatever you prefer. You can even use like just full stretchy um, scrunchies or whatever like that. But it's just really what you like to use, what works best for you. And, you know, sometimes I use the small black rubber bands, but I really like the bigger ones because they stretch more and you can really grab it um, how you want and go around the ponytail area as many times as you need. So I will use the big nude um, rubber band for this part. But once you do your wrap around um, the ponytail, you're not going to see the rubber band regardless or whatever you are using. So it really does not matter. Um, so yeah, once I do this, I will do the wrap around um and you know just secure the little you know so that way the rubber band don't show just do that wrap around part smooth everything out and i will get into the finishing touches as far as doing the baby hair and you know the concealing of the parts and the black spring so stay tuned
today um, I will be using the mousse bed head, um, the mousse holding spray and the wax stick. I like to um, take the wax stick and rub it on top of the hair. It kind of makes it lay down already. So once I lay it down, I just take a little mousse and put it on top of it. And then I go on with the holding spray. Um, once I get it the desired swoop that I like it to be to just give it a nice firm hold So yes wax stick mousse and then the holding spray is what I'm doing for the baby hair um, This is gonna be like my new little technique. I like this way so much better Y'all know I'm always trying some new stuff trying to see you know what works best and giving new ideas to try new things because every stylist is different and could do you know things better with certain products so yeah, I'm going to just do the same technique for all the four of the baby hairs that I am doing. So just continue to watch. So now that everything is complete, um, I'm just going to go ahead and black spray and conceal the parts and we will be finished and that is pretty much like the whole finishing touches on this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think about this look down in the comments. Don't mind me. I know I look a mess, but this ain't about me right now. <laughs> but thank you guys for tuning in to I'm Beautiful Foster TV. Soon we'll be 200 subscribers if people just stop hating subscribe because they watch the videos anyways. <laughs> And we will soon be to 100K. So uh, thank you guys for the continuous support. Thank you for buying all of my products. I'm officially restocking and I'm going to upload everything on the site. So stay tuned and thank you guys for the constant support.